Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I will show how to model inclined column in SciPicad. So let's start. Go to SciPicad. We will start with one existing project. This project I have shown in previous tutorials. You can see in my channel. Go to YouTube, then search by decode BD, then go to playlist. From here, go to created playlist. You will see SIP structure. This one here, you will see design and detailing of steel shed in SIP 2020, modeling RCC building in SIP 2020, including wind load, seismic load. Same building we have designed in next tutorial so from here you can see this full tutorials how we have modeled designed and got detailing from SciPicad. in this tutorial we will see how to create inclined column or slanted column first we will see the model in 3d view this is the model this is third floor and this one roof in this portion we will create cantilever beam and slab portion and from third floor to roof we will create slanted column or inclined column so we will go to third floor from beam definition tab here we will go up for upper floors 2f 3f this one roof this side we will create cantilever beam go to beam define beam here we can define the beam section width 25 centimeter depth 50 centimeter I am going with this except if we want to make it straight we have to turn on the orthogonal mode this one and for a specific length of beam we can choose coordinate introduction here the interval we can choose for example we need 1.5 meter cantilever beam in that case we will choose 0.5 meter interval so that 0.5 1 1.5 we can get snap interval choose this one then from here see right side this one 0.5 then 1 then 1.5 same way from here 0.5 1 1.5 we will connect these beams in that case we will go for minimum interval from here to here Now we can copy the slab properties. Go to slab, panel manager, copy panel, copy this panel, accept this one, done. To support these two cantilever beam, we will create two slanted columns from third floor to roof so we will go to third floor now here go to beam sloped beams add initial group third floor final group or floor roof this one width we will take 25 centimeter and depth 0 0.4 meter that means 40 centimeter add from here to here and another one from here to here so this is done again I can show this one add this one add see first point click on this 
then for second point it is taking us to the roof click on this then again the program returning to the initial floor level third floor so again we will click on the first node then for second node it is going to roof click on this so done now we can see in 3d view see here the slanted column or inclined column created now if we want to go for analysis and design we can go to analyze project analyze including foundation we can go for accept foundation also in previous tutorials i have shown all the design now i can go for accept foundation done we can go to result beam column and slab designed this counter maps close this one now we can go for detailed drawing add first one detailing of columns except then floor plans except then sloped beams except then column schedule except in previous tutorials we have seen all the drawings now here we will see mainly sloped beams that means slanted columns or inclined columns except okay now detail of all the drawing all the drawings print all all the drawing in one file the location we will save desktop accept accept so this is the drawings for columns floor plans this slanted column is started from here here is the detailing 25 by 40 this is the section of the slanted column so in this way we can model slanted or inclined column in SciPicad and we can do design and detailing thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update